My name is John Brillingham. I'm the chair elect on the Chamber Board of Directors. Our 2019 Small Business of the Year is located in Midtown Kingston, an area that has seen a renaissance in recent years, and you might say our next honoree has helped shape that success. The owners like to say it all began with a slab roller and one employee. He was just out of Kansas City Art Institute and needed a clay roller to help with his whimsical handmade pottery line. He built a prototype slab roller and the next thing he knew, all his friends wanted one too. Suddenly a company was born. He came to Kingston and set up his first manufacturing team in an old rented factory space in Midtown in 1979. In 1983, his wife, a successful ceramic artist, brought her ex expertise to the company to develop a ceramic supply division. Soon there were other products that were being requested and the company continued to design and manufacture everything from potter's wheels to 100 cubic foot kilns. Today this company is world renowned for its innovative and quality built pottery equipment, which is included in almost every college art department and art center nationwide. Its products are shipped all over the globe. Oh, by the way, the company that started out of rented factory space now employs 29 people. Its owners grew a 126 page mail order catalog business into one that occupies 28,000 square feet business on Tenbrook Avenue in Kingston and expanded to more space on Fox Hall Avenue in 2003. Today the company boasts a showroom of manufactured products and an incidental gallery where more than 500 20th and 21st century pots are shown. Many are from the most famous potters of the last, or last century. The owners are also passionately involved in the evolution of the Midtown Arts District and have donated time and money to their vision of uniting and growing Kingston through the arts. Companies like this one started with a dream that grow and prosper right before our eyes and give back to the community are what tonight's awards are all about. Please join me in congratulating our 2019 Small Business of the Year and welcome Jim and Ann Bailey of Bailey Pottery Equipment. Well, I'm Jim Bailey, and I really worried the hell out of my parents. <laughs> and the reason I worried them is because I told them I was going to go to art school. <laughs> That's as good as you're not going to have any money and you're going to be living at home the rest of your life. <laughs> right? Okay. But our story and uh, it was told very well. And you're seeing us in our younger years there. It's been quite a road. But it started as a love affair with this material. It's a ball of clay. Man has been using clay for mm, 20,000 years. It's our link to our history. And this is the material I chose because I wanted to have a studio. I wanted to work alone. I wanted to listen to books on tape and music. And I didn't want to be on the telephone. <laughs> didn't turn out that way for me. <laughs> so I'll go into our history. Um, so I left art school as a potter. And I went to the Rhinebeck Craft Fair in Rhinebeck, New York. Did anyone ever go in the 70s? Is anyone that old? And, and um, go to the Rhinebeck Craft Fair. Any hands? Wow. Forget about it. Well, anyway, this was the largest show in the United States for crafts. Clay, glass, silver, wood, the whole spectrum. And I went there, and on a whim, I made up an item that was toothbrush holders. Now, it had two little hands, and a mirror, and a parabola, and it was a toothbrush holder. And I made up a set of these. And damn, I sold so many toothbrush holders I couldn't believe it. 
And it was just a one-person studio, and I couldn't handle it, so I was up in the Adirondacks at the time. And uh, I hired employees. And in Kingston, New York, I knew of a machine shop on Prince Street, not far from where our factory is now, and a very kind, generous gentleman that I drove half out of his mind. He was willing to listen to me, take my sketches, and he made this machine that will show up there somewhere. You'll see a big wheel. It's a slab roller. What it does, takes clay, mix it into a sheet. And really, one minute, it could do what used to take an hour or so to do. And so I thought, you know, what the hell? This is working really well for me. I'm knocking out the slabs. Maybe I'll take out an ad in a periodical. Okay, sounds like a good idea. So in about 1976, I took out an ad in Ceramics Monthly, and it came up with the theme, because you've got to wear many hats, and it was Fantasy becomes reality, the Bailey slab roller. <laughs> it worked. It was just a simple photograph of the image, very few words, and all of a sudden I was getting orders. So that began Bailey Potter Equipment in the sense of now I had a clay business and I had a slab roller business started. This is my slab roller business. It's my clay business. And I had to start <laughs> to learn to juggle. <laughs> so you can't just have one machine, because that isn't enough. So I needed another machine. So I started designing all different sizes of slab rollers and extruders, and the poor fellow at the machine shop was half out of his mind. He said, Jim, I don't think we should do this anymore. <laughs> because I was always in there, you know, pushing him hard. Look, I got to get the orders out. And I realized I was going to have to take over. I was going to have to do this myself. I wasn't going to be able to subcontract someone to do this thing. I remember I wanted to be listening to books on tape and music, and I did not want to become a business person, but I couldn't help myself. So I started designing more equipment and came to Kingston. And uh, actually, I'm gonna jump back a, a second here. There's three parts of our business. And uh, there's the manufacturing, actually two parts, and the ceramic supply. And in 1976, I went to the Rhinebeck Fair for another year. And I was looking around and I, I saw this beautiful porcelain pottery. And the woman that was making it <laughs> was right back there, and I fell in love for the second time. First time with Clay, and then with Anne. Now, it turned out Annie, Annie was living in East Ham, Massachusetts. Anyone headed out to P-Town or anywhere in that range knows where East Ham is. And uh, so I went and visited Annie. And I th we got together and it became a relationship. And it turned out she was ordering supplies for the potters in Massachusetts in that region. She was getting the brushes and the clay and the glazes. And I tell you, Annie is, you know, New England stock. And she knows how to get a good price. It doesn't take no for an answer. And she is what she was the individual that started our ceramic supply division where we brought in materials from around the country and um, helped build the whole uh, ceramic supply, which was mail order. We ended up creating a 200-page catalog. And we ended up buying a building. And uh, I had to keep designing equipment. So baby steps, right? Baby steps. And all of a sudden, you look and go, oh, crap, there's a lot of things going on. So ultimately. Ultimately, I had to do this. <laughs> Let's see. All right. So we hired and built out our employees, and uh, we had to get into a larger space, and things kept growing in Kingston. 
was such an ideal spot for us. And we love being in that historic city. And it's very exciting what's going on with it now. But I tell you, besides needing to be a team, and Ann and I are a real team, and that was a fortunate thing, um, we needed great people to work for us and see our vision of customer service, building great products, teamwork. And part of our team is right over there at that table. And we have people that have been with us 25, 30 years. We, we, people that really are part of our company. And it is a family. So I want to just step back from the mic and turn it over to Annie because here we started as potters and step by step we built this company. We're known throughout the United States and respected. You can go anywhere in the U.S. and ask uh, or go to a ceramic department, you'll find our kilns and our products. And it's really wonderful to know that so many ceramicists are using our equipment. It, it, it's really a great feeling to know that we build the tools that allow people to be creative. And we're doing it here in New York State. We're actually manufacturing in New York State. Small business, but we're standing, you know? And the ripple effect, uh, which Ann has been responsible for, is community service and branching out and finding other ways to spread the wealth and share. And I'm going to turn it to Ann. That's really hard to follow, Jim. Anyway, um, I'm Ann Bailey. I'm the other half of Bailey Pottery Equipment. And uh, I just want to thank the Chamber for this honor and also thank all the, you know, or thank all the people who are here tonight for this award ceremony. Uh, I'm really deeply touched by the people that are here tonight, including many of our long-term employees who we're so grateful to. And uh, a, a new community I've come to know, the arts community. As many of you know, I'm very involved with the arts in Kingston. We've used it as a platform for a renaissance that's happening in the Midtown. We have also created conversations in communities where there have never been conversations before. And in fact, from our common thread, we are weaving a marvelous, beautiful, colorful, diverse tapestry, which I'm sure all, it's going to keep all of us very warm going into the future. So come to Midtown, check us out, that's where we are. Thank you for this honor, and thank you arts friends, buddies, patrons. We, uh, we are really making it happen here. So I am a little Kingston-centric, I'm sorry, but I love Ulster County too, so thank you.